Boom. All right, so tonight we're going to talk about how to create videos for your business that people want to watch. So the title is very specific. We're on, right? The title is very specific uh, because it's about the, the keyword there is that people want to watch because there's a lot of people creating videos for their businesses, but they're not necessarily uh, watchable. Um, so we've been actually fascinated by the silver screen and videos for a long time. This is one of the first uh, movies that was created in the late 1800s, actually in Paris, France, where I'm from. Um, and you know, people went to the movies and was a huge. And I think ever since that we start videos on uh, on the screen, we've been fascinated. This is one of the first movie. And you probably have learned of the legend that when they actually showed that movies, people were so frightened that they actually walked out. They ran out of the theater, and they were like, you know, freaking out that was going on. Actually, I read about it. It never happened. You know, uh, French people are not that stupid. It happened in France, but people never ran out. Um, and then it went all the way to 2005. 2005, 12 years ago, the first YouTube video was uploaded on YouTube. Just 12 years ago. And it was this guy, me at the zoo. Just a video. And now, so since 2005, now we have 100 million videos uploaded on YouTube every minute. Now let me say that again. 100 million videos uploaded on YouTube every minute. So it's, it's, it's really enormous, the impact of video. And it's no surprise there's a lot of people there because I think you're all like sensing, okay, what's going on with video? What do I need to learn here? And it's not just me saying that. The big boards are saying it. Facebook, uh, at an early, earlier this year, said that by 2020, everything on the Facebook platform will be consumed on a mobile device and will be video. All content will be video by 2020. That's just like, you know, we're almost in 2018. That's two years from now. So which means that the picture post, the written post, all that garbage would be gone. Like everything that we're seeing in terms of data is telling us that this is what we want to consume. Uh, fa uh, YouTube. YouTube is the second largest search engine. A lot of people don't know that. But the first, the largest search engine obviously is Google. But the second largest search engine in the world is YouTube. I mean, uh, far above Bing and Yahoo and all these other search engines. Uh, YouTube is absolutely enormous in terms of its scope. And Cisco just recently came out that they are predicting that by 2019, 80%, 80% of all the traffic that's two years from now will be videos. All the internet traffic will be videos, like two years from now. It's just, it's just, it's amazing. But if you think about it, if you look at our own behavior, that's actually what we want to consume. You know, I don't know about you, but I just like I see a, a thousand word blog and I go in a coma, <laughs> right? I see a video and I'm like, click, and I'm watching it, right? So I have a good news and a bad news, right? And as all good news and bad news, I'm going to give you the bad news first, right? So whatever business you're in, you are a media company. Whatever business you're in, you are a media company. Whether you're a chiropractor, a dentist, a candy store, a web company, whatever you are, you are a media company. And that can be overwhelming for a lot of people to hear, but that is the thing. And that's whether you like it or not, you are a media company in 2017. And if you look at all the data by 2019, you better be a media company. But I have a good news. So you ready for the good news? You are a media company. <laughs> That's the good news. It's never been simpler to actually create media in 2017. I mean, you got you know, your phone, you got cameras, you got microphone, I mean, all this stuff. I mean, who has been in business here for over 15 years? Right, look at all this ends. We had none of that stuff. None of that stuff. I remember my first business, 1995. We made a brochure and you had to pass it and create business cards and you went to events and you passed it. We had none of that stuff. We didn't have YouTube, we didn't have Facebook, we didn't have Instagram. We didn't have the ability to actually create content and blast it to the world. We didn't have none of that. That actually is the good news. So, 
Uh, a couple of things in terms of equipment. You have the starter package. So the starter package is this, right? Every one of you is ready to go right now. You can create videos with this. Uh, who has a mobile phone in their pocket? Yeah, I think everybody, right? And then you also need a wired microphone. You need a wired microphone. I actually have one right here. I bought it on uh, Amazon. This is a 20-foot cord, so I can plug it in and be like really far and whatnot. This was the whopping cost of $20, 20 bucks with a, 20, 20, uh, with a uh, foot cord. I was at an event one time and someone asked me to record the, uh, my, my wife actually, she was speaking and she asked me, can you uh, record me? And I, and I was holding the, uh, holding the phone like this and after like three minutes my hand was shaking and I was like, you know, trying to change hand and it was really awful. I'm like, there's got to be a better way. And I started to think and I looked on the internet and finally I found this thing which is called the eye clip, which is what you have here. And it's used by all the musicians out there. And the reason why they're using it is because they have their partitions or they have their uh, the music, the lyrics, whatever they have. So they can actually play the guitar and watch this stuff and it just hooks to anything. It hooks to a chair, it hooks to a pole, it hooks to a table, it hooks to anything and there you go. You got to stand and this, this little thing was also $20, right? And then lighting. I just uh, bought the, these lights. Actually, is great. You need to have some lights. There, uh, they were uh, $100, and they're bright. You'll get a 10. You know, if you want, you know, you'll, you'll get a 10. But this was 100 bucks. So, uh, the starter package will really will cost you 500 to 1,000 dollars at the most. So you're really ready to go, like right now. You can, you can actually produce some videos right now. You don't need to have really expensive equipment. However, if after this presentation. Uh, you are inclined to buy a little bit more equipment, uh, I would recommend all this. Obviously, uh, I'm recording this session tonight with a Canon. It's a 70D. Uh, D, 70 D. Uh, it cost uh, 1500 bucks. It was a bundle that I bought at, uh, at Costco. You need a tripod. A tripod can cost you anywhere from uh, $330 uh, um, to 300 bucks. Uh, you need some light. You can have a microphone. The, the uh, uh, the, the lavalier microphone, some lighting, a handheld device. You can start to be a little bit more professional and start to do some more fun stuff. And that will cost you about two to five thousand dollars. Okay, so that that would be the range. Uh, I, you know, I when I f first did my first video, I started like a everyone. I wanted to see if I was gonna like it, if I was going to be any good at it. So I started with the five hundred dollar package. You know, I actually bought lights, uh, um, lights, floodlights at Home Depot for seventy nine dollars because I looked at photography lights and they were like two thousand dollar. I'm like, I'm not putting two grand in in lighting. I went to Home Depot and I had. Yeah, so I did a five-minute session, and I was half my face was burned, but I didn't care, <laughs> right? It worked. Um, so the learning curve. So there's there's a learning curve with uh, producing videos, and the good news is you can actually go to YouTube. Everything you need to know is on YouTube. You can actually find about brain surgery on YouTube. I swear to you, there's actually a a channel that is called the How To Channel. One of the videos is how to close a door. I am not kidding you. How to close a door. The guy goes and he, uh, go, I'm telling you, yeah, he closes the door and that, that video has hundreds of thousands of views. Yeah, it's crazy. You can find out everything. However, uh, let me tell you a few of the best channels that you can learn all this stuff. So the first one is the sales lion. Marcus and George are the guy that's running that operation. I mean, they have a whole bunch of people, but they are really extraordinary. All the content that they put on, uh, on their channel is really to help you learn the business of video marketing. So it's just really the business. There is how to, how to speak on camera. They have, it's really an amazing channel and it's really extraordinary. And that actually is what they do. They teach people about video marketing. I actually saw George speak twice and Marcus, the, uh, the guys that run this thing, did an amazing job and gave us an ama a, a lot of tricks that actually I'm sharing with you tonight. Um, meet Owen. This guy talks a lot about optimizing your videos. That's a mistake that people will cover that uh, in a little bit. A lot of how to optimize your videos for YouTube and how to make them better, but there's a lot of, a lot of good stuff. Um, James uh, Wedmore, he has a great, he actually started with video marketing, now he's doing a lot of business growth and whatnot. This is a great channel also to investigate. 
uh, primal video that is really a lot of good stuff there you know learning about how to edit how to film how to shoot like there's I mean these within these four channels you got hundreds of hours of education and if you watch I would say just you know four or five hours of that you're going to learn a whole bunch of uh, stuff about video marketing uh, there's also Wistia has a great channel Wistia is uh, W-I-S-T-I-A has an amazing channel on how to uh, do videos that I would uh, invite you to check out too. Um, Vidyard is also really, really good. Very interesting uh, channel to learn a lot about uh, video. Um, and Linda, so lynda.com uh, is actually is not free, uh, but it's a place if you're going to have people on your staff, they're going to need to educate themselves about video. This is great because you can buy the lesson. They'll have to take the lesson. You can find out whether they learn what they need to learn and whatnot. So that would be a great thing if you have people that need to learn. All right. So the videos you need for your business. There actually are four videos that you need for your business when you get started. Any business needs those videos. Uh, and the first one is the company overview. Right, you need to do a company overview. And I'm gonna give you some questions, some scripting behind that, but you need to have a company overview. What, is the, what does the company do? That is a video that every single business needs to have, which is slightly different than the about the company. So the overview of the company is the what and the how. The about the company is the why. Does that make sense? Uh, employee bio, every single employee needs to have a bio on the website. It doesn't have to be a five minute thing. Just say, you know, hi, my name is Antoine Dupont. I'm the CEO of this company. This is what I do. This is what I'm passionate about. If you have any question, call me with this. You know, that's just very simple. Um, and uh, every single service and product page on your website needs to have video. If you have 10 service, you need to have a video per service. I didn't say that the video had to be 10 minutes or 15 minutes. It can be very, very easy. I did one this morning with a client. She's actually a business coach. And I said, what is, and I'll show you the questions. I'm gonna run you through it. And I said, just please describe what is, what is business coaching? So she, she just went on and I asked her the, the several questions and there you go. I'm gonna be able to create a three minute video for her. It is very easy. Once you're done with those four, then you need those six. So first the four. Don't do the six before, because sometimes people are tempted by doing the other six, but do the, four, the first four first. And these are the FAQs, the questions that people keep on asking you over and over and over again. Create a video for it. You know, what do they ask you about web design? You know, can you host it? Uh, you know, do I own the design? Um, can you do WordPress? I mean, whatever the questions are going to be, you just you know answer those questions. I have a video for all those questions. Uh, how to? So I'm going to I'm going to tell you that the how tos is the gold nugget. This is where it's going to make an enormous difference. And every single one of us in this room has intellectual data that we know about stuff, and we need to create videos how to do this stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding you, the how to close the door has hundreds of thousands of views. How to is the golden nugget. Testimonials, have your client do a testimonial video. Obviously demos, case studies, and onboarding. Who has an onboarding process here for their client? Like when, you're, when they're coming in, they're a new client, there's a system that you're gonna be asking them a whole bunch of questions, right? If they're gonna come up for a web design, you're gonna ask them about their domain name, you're gonna ask them about do they have pictures, do they have this, you could create a video with this. You could create a three minute video, send it to them and people will be impressed. It's just that's the stuff I'm gonna need for you, okay? Now, the types of setup for videos, how the, basically setting the scene. So the first one, which is the most, uh, the, I would say the most classic one is the interview setup. The interview setup is you basically are face to face, you sit the person in the chair, you put the camera next to them and you say, talk to me, don't talk to the camera. And you ask them questions and they answer the questions. It's the easiest thing to do. Sometimes they're very self-conscious about the video. They're like, oh my God, there's a video there. I'm like, have a drink, whatever you need to do, but just chill, talk to me, okay? I'm just asking you a question. What do you do for a living? Then have them say, okay, what I do is I'm a chiropractor, so I help people with neck pain, back pain, and all this stuff. Okay, great, there we go. We keep on going, okay? The next setup is, um, 
the thought of the day or the tip of the week or the thought of the month. That's a great way to actually create a video. Uh, just you, just saying, okay, this is some of the stuff that I was uh, thinking or some of the stuff that I'm actually seeing in the industry, in the healthcare business, in the health and beauty. There is some stuff that you guys know and you see and you notice every day. This is a great piece of content. Again, a two, three uh, minute video would be great. Uh, Jody Johnson does that. She does the tip of the week. She's a business coach. So she deals with businesses that are dealing with things in their business. And then she say, oh, you know what? I'm dealing with this stuff, so I'm just going to create a video. We did one this morning uh, and was about communication. She wanted to talk about communication. She felt like a lot of businesses don't communicate effectively with their employees. So she did a quick video about that. This is a great piece of content. Uh, webcast. A webcast is a great way to do videos. So a webcast is uh, actually, this is when you're recording your screen, right? That is me. It is me. And that's true, and, but that's not me on the bottom. That's Julia. And I did a webcast with Julia. She is actually a social media marketing expert. Some of you may know her. Uh, and I interviewed her. I asked her, I said, what are the three tips you have for social media? So I had her, uh, her website on the, on the left, uh, and then we split the screen, and we talked for 20 minutes, and we recorded in a video. She's got a great piece of content for her. I have a great piece of content for me, and there we go. And then you have a webcast where you're actually on your own. A webcast, again, is the, you know, what I mean by webcast, it's not a podcast, it's actually a webcast. So you're just casting the screen, and you could put a little video of you next to it. And uh, this, I was actually demonstrating on a mobile phone how to, um, how to open up Snapchat and work on it. So very easy video that anyone could do. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't do is the behind the scene. Like share the stuff that's going on in your company. There's a birthday party, it's a great opportunity for a video. You know, someone had a, brings, a, brings a baby that just had a baby, they bring it into the office, film that, that's great stuff. You know, you don't have, it doesn't have to be like all tied up and you know, like, hello, you know, you just chill out and just show how lively your office is and you know, that, that you're just a human, basically. All right, so scripting and presentation. Uh, this is when we're getting uh, actually into the how to prepare yourself and generate the scripts, what you're gonna need to do. So. I found this gem um, a week ago, and it left me like, I was like, oh my God, this is absolutely amazing. You go to this website, it's called answerthepublic.com. Like if you wanna know, like a lot of people that I talk to, they're like, I don't know what I'm gonna be talking about, and, and I'm not sure, what do you want me to talk about? And like this website is the answer to that. So you go to that website, which is really funny, is this guy is a live video, and he takes his glasses off, and he looks at you, and he's like, what are you doing? Come on, do it already. And you put a keyword in that box, right there. For me, I put chiropractor. You could put web design, you could put candy, you could put anything you want, and you click, and you get that. And these are all the questions, they are aggregating Google with all the questions around that specific, key, uh, that specific keyword. How, what, why, who, which, where, can. All the questions, let me bring it closer so you can actually see it. That's for chiropractor. How chiropractic helps allergies. How chiropractic helps migraines. Do you think that that's a good video? That's one video. So sir, Mr. Chiropractor, how does chiropractor help migraine? Well, chiropractor helps migraine because you know when your spine is adjusted, right now. Great, boom, one video. Do you think you're gonna run out of ideas for videos? That's one keyword. That's chiropractic. I mean, this source is absolutely amazing. This is an amazing source for you to source about what you wanna talk about. Sorry, uh, Answerthepublic.com answerthepublic.com. Sometimes I have people that are so nervous to say, can we have a teleprompter or can I use notes and uh, can, I, can I do that to help me? And the answer is no. No, it's awful. And the reason why is because you're going to sound scripted. And scripted sounds awful. And, and by the way, you probably suck at reading a teleprompter. I know I do. It just, it's just, not, it's not natural. The people that do it on the news, they're trained people. 
Right? And I just, it, it's just, it's not a good idea at all. I had a client that actually insisted on doing it. He was reading notes. We did the whole shoot and we had to throw all the slides. He says, that really was like really bad. And he was trying to blame the lighting, the camera, the thing. And I'm like, no, it was you reading notes. It has to be conversational. Who wants to watch a guy that's like, and in the morning I did, I mean, it's, it's really awful. Just be natural. If you don't know this stuff, then you probably should be making a video about it, right? Uh, so just don't be afraid to be yourself. You could have notes, you know. So, for example, what you would want is you would have the, you would want to have the key points, right? Just and sometimes you will have to rehearse it. You know, you may have to. You know, I want to talk about a video, and there is ten things. By the way, in video editing, you can cut, you know, the videos. It doesn't have to be set in one thing. You can say, okay, let me remember those three points. So I have three points. So I started in 2001 and we have 10 employees and I specialize in DUIs. So hi, my name is you know, Joe Schmo with the law firms. And we started our law firms in 2001. We now have 10 employees and we specialize in DUI. Boom, cut. Um, so one of the things that we actually get when people get on camera, they have a tendency to get very significant. Right, I put a, we put them, they're sitting down and the camera's there and then they, they start to go like this. They start to front up and everything and one of the best way to start a video is to start with a huge smile, right? And if you don't know, like, uh, how am I gonna do that? I'm, not, I'm nervous and I'm not, I don't know, just think of like a crazy puppy or crazy dog. Just think of something that's gonna make you smile. So you just get away from that like, you know, significant or serious uh, face that you may have. You know, like, you know, this is not good, right? Uh, that, that's, that, that's, more, that's more like it. This is when you're starting to be yourself. And then just do whatever you need just to get a smile, right? Just think about it and then just, you know, be present to that and then just go and, and start to shoot the video. All right, so these are the questions that I actually ask for the company overview. Those are amazing questions. They always, always work. And the first one is what motivated you to start? And the reason why this video is great when I do a company overview is because it gets people to start to talk about, well, when I was 12 years old, I saw this movie and it inspired me and then that day I decided I want to be a lawyer. And that is an amazing piece of content. It's a lot more interested, interesting than, you know, I went to school and I have all those degrees that nobody cares about. We want to have a human story. Right? And then I ask them, what do you specialize in? What are you known for? Why people keep coming back? So it has them like reach out. And the last one is what are you most proud of? And sometimes I actually get pe people start to get real there because they're proud of some stuff. And this is you know, some stuff that I can get out in the company with you and that is interesting. If I'm gonna watch some, something and someone is really proud about the difference that they're making with, you know, with the kids or whatever they're doing or they're sending supplies um, in, uh, in Puerto Rico or whatever, it's something that's really real for them and that creates a great piece of content. When you're doing a video, what's really important is to focus on only one person. You know, people have a thing, they're like, they're talking to the interweb, right? <laughs> they're talking to people in China and like, no, you're not, right? Most of your videos are gonna be viewed by not a lot of people. Uh, you're not Dan Ratter, you're not Britney Spear, right? You're just, you're a little business there doing this stuff. You try to, try to focus on one single person. So this is an image of a shopper. Just think about like that one person that comes to my business, whether it's a man or a woman. Just think of that person and just talk to them. Don't call them by name, but just think of that person. That helps you generate content that is a lot more personal. You know, you talk to one, you end up talking to many. If you're trying to talk to many, you end up talking to no one, okay? Slow down. You know, it's amazing, like use the pause. I'm pausing right now. <laughs> this is the part where I'm demonstrating pausing. So, in any case, slow down. And don't sweat it. Like the first 20 to 30 minutes with every video is usually the most difficult one. You know, after a while, like people are like, hey, I'm starting to get the hang of it. You know, I'm like, yeah, you had a couple of beers and it's been 45 minutes, so you're chilling out. But at first, they're like this. You know, and then eventually they'll get to chill out and be comfortable and just be themselves. I'm not, I'm not suggesting you should drink to do videos. Um, you know, if you start to slur your words, you, you had too much. 
Um, but whatever works for you, you know, uh, and, and maybe you'll have a tea or whatever it is. Maybe you need to get a massage, you need to relax. But, you know, the first 20 to 30 minutes, so what, what you should do for the first 20 to 30 is ask the easy question. You know, what's your name? What's your company name? You know, what do you do? I mean, that's the easy stuff. And then they're starting to get the role until you start to get to more, you know, personal questions, or then you start to go asking about the whys and whatnot. Uh, remember to have calls to action. That's the thing that I see a lot of people missing in their videos. You know, ask people to like and share and subscribe to your channel. You know, at the end of your video, just say, hey, listen, if you got value out of this video, please like it. Obviously, might not be appropriate if it's a company overview, but if you're doing a how-to, you know, ask people to like it. You know, if you don't, you know, if you don't ask them, they may not be, you know, they may not do it. But if you ask them, I'll say, okay, yeah, I liked it. Thank you for the reminder, right? So it's easy stuff. Just ask them. Uh, so format for a product or service video. This is when you're going to do each service or each product on your website. This is what you need to do in terms of the format of the video. The first thing you need to do is you need to describe the product or service. What is the service? Right? Business coaching this morning. Well, business coaching is when we do this and that and this and that and this is that and that and this. Right? Is the description. That's what it is. And then the second thing is, why is yours better? Well, so that's the question we ask. What makes you special? Why do you do it? Then they say, well, what makes me better is I have 20 years of experience. I have trained and I did this and I did that. So now I have a sense of like, oh, now I know why you're doing what you do. And then the next thing is, what will I gain? How is my life going to be better if I use your product or your service? So obviously you can adapt it to that specific thing, but like the value prop. Then the next question is, identify the pain. What is the problem? What is the issue? Why do I need this product? What is the problem? If you don't talk to the, if you don't talk to the pain, the problem that people are having over there, they don't think you can relate to them. And if you could actually speak to that pain, that problem, that issue that they're having, now, you, now you've connected with them. And then go to the next thing, which is about the pleasure. Imagine a world with. What if you could? How would your life be if you had that? Have the person identify that. If they don't know that, that's a problem. Everybody knows that about their, uh, about their pr product and service. Ask them if they have a guarantee. We actually talked about it. We're an SEO company. And we talked about the guarantee. And the big thing with the SEO and the internet marketing people, oh, we don't make guarantee. You know, we, we can't guarantee anything. And I was like, I challenged my team. And I'm like, really? So we can actually cannot guarantee that we're going to improve their rankings? We're like, well, yeah, we're going to improve their rankings. Then we need to guarantee. Because if we can't guarantee that, then we're in the wrong business. So there is always something you can guarantee. You cannot, no, you cannot say, I guarantee you're going to grow your business by 30%. That's, you know, that's being very specific. And that would put me out of business because everybody would ask their money back. But you could have a time frame. You know, I guarantee that, you know, within 30 days that I can have, if you're a web designer, I guarantee that your website will be built in 90 days or less. You can make that guarantee. Because listen, if you can't produce a website in 90 days or less, you know, you're in the wrong business, right? Uh, trust indicators. Actually, say if you're certified, if you have any kind of certification or membership or affiliations that are relevant to that product or service. Right? And uh, you can also mention current clients is using that. That is a trust indicator. That's actually saying, oh, those people use that. You know, I have done business with those and I'm certified with this. Now you're starting to, you know, get the full wrap up. And then obviously uh, wrap up the video with a call to action. You know, for more information, uh, by the way, ask everything. I never understand that on the website where you're making it difficult for me to get in contact. Who likes to call businesses? Raise your hand. Who likes to email them? Who likes to text them? Right, so you get it? Who would prefer to fill out a form? Nobody, okay great, no more forms. You still should have a form. The, the point is, is that we're all different. We all like to interact. Who would like to drive to a place? So yeah, exactly, you would like to, it would, I wanna go and see it. So you'll provide all the information. You know, for more information, please come and to our place. We're in downtown West Palm Beach. Our phone number is 561. My email address is Antoine at catapult.biz. And you can go to our website there to get all the information. Provide all that information in the video. Okay? 
So hosting, let's talk about hosting. Because a lot of people ask me about hosting. Where am I going to put my videos? Am I going to put them on my, uh, on my website, on your server? And the answer is no. Under no circumstances will I put that on my server. First of all, these files are enormous and there is really no point, no reason whatsoever to have your videos hosted on your thing. Where they need to go is they need to go on YouTube, uh, among others. There's actually four. Uh, YouTube is free, uh, but it has uh, overlay ads, but it's 100% public. Right, I know you can you can make them unlisted and you can do all the things, but you got to think like I, I had an argument with actually I was going to say with someone it was actually with my wife, and she was talking about Facebook and everything, and I'm like, listen, Facebook is public, everything you put there is for the world to see, end of conversation. Same thing with YouTube, it's for the world to see. Okay, so you're going to think if I'm going to put it there, if I don't want anyone to see it, don't put it on YouTube, right? Even if you put a little padlock and you say it's private and everything, I, I wouldn't do it. Uh, then you have Wistia. Now, Wistia is 99 bucks a month. Uh, the, the, uh, there's no ads, and obviously, then you have privacy. You can have your videos locked up. Uh, same thing with Vimeo. Vimeo is actually a little bit cheaper. Uh, they have plans from 7 to 50 bucks a month, and they also have no ads and privacy. So sometimes people say, well, why don't I put my video on, video on Vimeo? I had the argument that I have with people. It's not an argument. It's actually they're telling me I don't like the ads on it. And I'm like, okay, so do you want to pay 50 bucks a month and have no ads? And they're like, oh, <laughs> well, yeah. You know, how do you think they're making their money at uh, YouTube? You know, that's, that's what you get in exchange. You're going to get some ads on top of it. And in my opinion, the fact that YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world makes it way worth it to have your videos on YouTube in exchange for a few ads. Then the next one is obviously is Facebook. It's actually a place where you can host your videos. You upload your videos on Facebook and obviously it's free and it's 100% public, right? So it's like everybody is going to see your video. So this is basically how, how it looks like. And what I would say is if you have classes and webinars and videos that you actually have where it's private and people are paying for it or they have to pay to get the content, then I would say Wistia and Vimeo is the place to do that. Everything else should go on YouTube and on Facebook. So we're going to talk about some of the mistakes that people are doing with YouTube and Facebook, but um, that would be that. Now creating videos, um, really that it's like get started. You know, a lot of people like, you know, frozen in, uh, you know, in the snow and, uh, you know, the fe feet in the, c in the cement. Uh, get started. Allow yourself to suck at it for a little while. Because uh, you're going to suck at it. I just, you know, it's just not, you know, it's just that's what the first time you do anything, you're not good at it. Um, and, and I know some people say, well, Antoine, you're so charismatic and you almost look like George Clooney and, you know, and all this thing and, and you don't even have an inch of an ag. Your diction is perfect and everything. I mean, you're a natural at this stuff. I'm like, this is my first video. I mean, for God's sake, look at this. It was three years ago. I just went for it. It was awful. I actually kept it on my YouTube channel just to remind me <laughs> how far we've gone. But it's like the video is on top of the PowerPoint. You can't even read the stuff. I mean, it's, it's awful. But you know what? I went for it. I don't even remember what this video was about. And the sound is awful. You can barely see me and it's dark. I mean, look at this hideous thing. It's just, it's horrendous. But I just went for it. Just allow yourself to suck at it. We all went through it. The first, you know, the first 10 videos are going to be awful. You're going to cringe, uh, but keep them because, you know, it's like practice makes perfect. Uh, respect the platform. That is one of the biz biggest mistakes. And I'm channeling a little bit of Gary Vaynerchuk here with, uh, with this. Respect the platform. What I mean by that is YouTube and Facebook are two different animals. Right? If you create one video, you should not upload this video automatically to uh, to YouTube the way it is and on Facebook. It's two different, it's two different things. There are two different purposes. So the first thing is YouTube. It needs to be optimized for SEO. You know, again, it's the second largest engine in the uh, in the world. Right? It should be optimized. So your video should look something like that. Like 
you know, all the videos here, for example, the, th the second one, it says three awesome company culture ideas. The reason why it says that is because we've identified that company culture ideas was actually a keyword that people were searching for. Like we did the work. Like I see so many uh, videos on YouTube where people don't optimize it. They're saying, you know, Antoine talks to Anise. I'm like, no. Like optimize the title, optimize the description, optimize the entire video. You should have a description that also is optimized. And you could use some thumbnails. You could actually create some nice little thumbnails that makes it professional and whatnot. So this is what I should, I your channel should look like on YouTube. Optimize for SEO. Now on Facebook, it's a square format. It's a totally different animal. What I mean by square format is on YouTube, it's a rectangular format. On Facebook, it's a square format. And the reason why it's a square format is because it takes a lot more of the screen. If you're scrolling on your phone, if it's a square video, it just takes a lot more of your screen. That's why the square videos actually are getting you know, a lot more engagement and a lot more views than the rectangular one. So people are taking the rectangular video, which is you know, 1920 by 1080, they're just putting it on YouTube and then putting it on Facebook. Now, change the format and make it square for, uh, for Facebook. Does that make sense? Okay. Uh, Instagram, uh, 59 second, that's all you've got. It's actually 60 second, but I put 59 because I don't know which second they cut, the beginning or the end. So go with 59, okay? It's gotta be trendy and cool. You know, Instagram is, uh, you know, uh, I would say the, uh, the 12 to 35 crowd, very uh, uh, used by the 20 something. So, you know, your, your video of your lawyer about DUI, domestic violence, or your chiropractor is not going to be something they're going to appeal to them. But the chiropractor could actually do something cool about massage or the scent or the herbs, but it would be different, right? Um, this is how it looks like on Instagram, obviously. Um, LinkedIn actually had just, not just started, but they've been, we're doing videos. The CEO of uh, LinkedIn came out and said, 10 minutes max. If you cannot say what you need to say in 10 minutes, then you shouldn't say it. It's too much stuff. So I say 10 minutes. So that's all you've got on, uh, on LinkedIn. It's a different format. Obviously, the content's going to be slightly different. It's a little bit more professional on LinkedIn than it would be on, uh, on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, actually, I saw that. It was really funny. This guy is making a face behind that kid. So a lot, we're seeing a lot of videos. This is actually a live video. And like Facebook, it plays automatically. There's no click on play. As you're scrolling down, the video starts to play automatically. Um, I am, uh, this is again uh, Jody. she's a client of ours. I love what she's doing there uh, with, the, uh, with the videos, using email marketing to send her videos. This is a video right there. Who receives too many emails in their inbox? Too many, right? So what she does is she takes the video, she does a transcript of the video, she puts some of the text above, a lot of the text below, and then the video, so you, all you have to do is click on that. This is an amazing format for email marketing. If you want to, you know, re-engage people in watching your, uh, watching your content or reading or what, or learning about what you do, uh, doing it like this is a great way to engage people. On your blogs, uh, all your blogs should have a video, all of them. And the simple reason is because they improve the stickiness of your blog. You know, one of the strong signal for Google is how much time people are spending on your blogs. Each of your blogs should have a video. Same with your landing pages. Your landing pages, every single one of your landing page should have a video. This one is how do I win a debt collection lawsuit in the page that talks about debt collection. It's a great video. People are going to click it. You know, it's like there's so much text. I mean, by the way, there's a lot of text above and left. What do you think they're doing? Reading the two texts or watching the video? Watching the video, right? Uh, and we need, the, we, need the, uh, we need the text for SEO. Common mistakes that people do with videos. Uh, bad sound and bad lighting. That is one of the classic mistakes that people do. Invest in lights and invest in the microphone. Like, lo watch, lo watch this video. Actually, I watched it first and because of the, the, the sound, the audio quality in this thing, you cannot really tell the difference. Uh, you're gonna see the difference between the, uh, with the lighting, but with the sound, it's just slightly, but when you watch it on the computer, it's a world of difference. So this is me. Hi, this is Antoine with Catapult Marketing. So this is a first video to demonstrate how a video sounds without any lights and without a microphone. Not too good, right? 
Hi, this is Antoine with Catapult Marketing. Now it's the exact same video, basically, but with light and a microphone. Can you tell the difference? You can tell the difference, right? Yeah. The light, it makes the world a difference. Yeah. Headspace. A lot of people do the wrong thing with headspace. They're cutting their heads off, or they're too, too short, too, hot, too high. Just you know, center yourself slightly to the left so you can add some words. You know, just make sure you're like nicely centered. See a lot of people like their head is cut off, so just make sure you got the head in the right spot. Uh, the right mood. Um, don't try to be funny. Uh, I, I see sometimes people doing like this. I don't know, maybe this guy was funny with his puppet. Uh, but if, if, if you're, you're not a comedian, okay? It's just the bad, you know, that's the bad news. Now, it's just don't try to be funny because it's like unless you're a trained pro professional comedian, it's just not going to come out. I mean, if you're... You're really funny, like you can try, but I, I would advise against it. Uh, don't be too serious. You know, who wants to watch uh, someone that is, uh, that is uh, too serious? Uh, don't try to sound too smart. You know, it's, it's going to occur condescending uh, to people. So even if you're super smart and you know a lot of stuff, try to tame it down. Like just, you know, just try to be a little bit more casual. But anything you do, don't sell. Do not sell. You're going to look like this guy. It's going to be awful. The last thing you need to do is sell. Just be yourself. Just say what you do exactly the way I scripted it, and people will be enrolled and they, they'll connect with you or not. Uh, just be yourself. Just really be yourself. Okay? Uh, the ideal location. Well, we have beautiful locations here in South Florida. You don't always have to do it in your office. You can actually use some outdoors. So it's a great space. As long as you have good lighting and a microphone, you can do it outside. Uh, you can do it in public spaces like the mall. Just make sure you get authorization first. They may have an issue or, you know, I'm sure at the city place uh, that would be totally cool. It depends what you do, but just, you know, just be careful. Um, and you can use Spunky Place. You know, you can use like different settings, you know, urban settings, graffiti and whatnot. You know, obviously if you're a dentist, that may not work, but you can do some other videos uh, that, would be, uh, that would be appropriate to use uh, different, uh, different places. Uh, be useful. You know, whatever you do, be useful. This is really what works. Now, I want to show you this video because I want, you, I want you to get the point across. Now, I'm in my van and you know like when they change the time, like twice a year, right? and you have the wrong time in your van for a month and you're annoyed because you have to put one finger in your nose, one here, put, hold your feet like that and you don't know and the knob and the thing and it just drives you nuts and you don't know how to change the time. So I'm like, I'm waiting for someone, I'm in a parking lot at Cypress Creek, uh, Cypress Creek Marriott in Fort Lauderdale. I'm reading the manual, okay, you do this, you do that. I'm like, I'm gonna do a video for myself so in six months from now, I'll remember, right? <laughs> How to change the time on your uh, Dodge Caravan. Uh, you can see here there is a little button that says time. You just press on it for five seconds and then the time is going to blink. And now here with a little nod you can actually move the time up and down. And once you're done with the time you, all you have to do is press on the knob and then now you can change the minutes. And that's it. And then you press again and you're done. Boom. So I do it. So if someone watches it, you know, I don't, you know, I don't like, cause I, I, I curse a lot. So I would be cursing myself. So you don't, you know, you remember you dumb nut, you know, I'd be just saying something like that. So I'm putting that video <laughs> six months later and I go, oh, I, the time lapse. So I go and watch it. <laughs> I am not kidding. Why do you think? Cause it's useful. 20, I'm like, are you serious? And people say, oh, thank you. My light was blinking for a month and everything. What it is is I'm being useful. How, do you remember when I, when at the beginning of the presentation I say how to? Yeah, how to is the, is, is the, is the thing. Just be useful. The, all the stuff that you know in your business, be helpful out there. It's going to give you an amazing amount of traction. Uh, this video here th that I was showing you earlier is, is Snapchat 101 tutorial. You know why I did it? Because a lot of my clients were asking me about Snapchat. Antoine, should I do Snapchat? I'm like, unless you're a 12 year old, no. But, you know, I did a tutorial on it. 34,000 views. Right, and how many comments? I had 34 comments. It's just useful. It's just a tutorial. Is it complicated? Look at that, it's my desktop. 
and it's a, a it's a webcam filming me and I have I use a little application to show my phone and I clicked I have the phone right there and I'm just telling people this is how you do it this is how you create a little thing this is how you open it that was it 30,000 views and then this one who was there during it for that uh, for that meeting Facebook marketing was like uh, your, uh, two months ago three months ago in June Look at that, Facebook marketing strategy for small business in 2017. 15,000 views, it's useful. So again, like the, the, the point of this is not to brag that I have all, these, uh, all those views, is that the point is useful will get you traction. And at the end of the day, it's all about getting traffic to your website. It's all about getting attention. So if anything, do how to's videos. All right, editing tips. You had a question about editing. Um, make sure you add text on all your videos. All your videos should have text on it. And the simple reason is because 85% of Facebook videos are viewed without sound. Let me say that again. 85% of videos on Facebook are viewed without sound. It's like, why? <laughs> I actually, I know why. Because my wife is next to me and she said, turn down that stuff. Right, so I'm actually reading this, the reading the thing. Or you're in the bus, or you're in the waiting room, or wherever you are, you just don't want to disrupt thing, or you don't have your earbuds, so you're just going to watch the text there, and you're watching the video, right? So make sure you have text on top of it. Uh, have plenty of B-roll. What B-roll is is the video is actually in the top left corner. That's the video that is being filming. But there's a lot of B-roll, a B-roll, the finished product, the stitching in the back. So just add some animation in the thing. The B-roll should be like you know, three to five second maximum. A lot of people use transitions uh, when if you use a tool like Funnel Cut Pro, you can do some really cool stuff and things that go and if you're 12 year old, it's really fun. But if you're in the business, please don't do it. Just do fade. All your videos should have a little intro. Uh, some people overdo it. Actually, we're just watching a video where there's a 60 second intro and I was like, oh, who sits through that? Um, uh, intros is very, actually what we use the intros for is, is for the outros, if that makes any sense. We don't start the video with this. We start the video immediately with the person talking and then we have the intro at the end. So to kind of like close and wrap up the video. Uh, because people like, you know, they don't care about, I mean, this is nice. I'm going to show it to you. It's nice, but it's really more of a close up thing than starting with this. You know, again, you're not a TV show. This is not a documentary. Uh, this is stuff. So watch this one. Right. Um, and then, uh, we, so we do for all our clients, uh, frameworks. Uh, Riviera Presbyterian Church, we did one with a little paper, and then you have this one too. Right? So, uh, we actually get all that in Fiverr. Yes. Uh, Fiverr is an amazing source. I actually, I have a full-time video editor um, that could actually create those intros. It will probably take him four to six hours to create an intro. Uh, and with Fiverr, I can get that, in, that eight second intro for 25 to 50 bucks and it takes about 10 minutes. About 10 minutes to place the order, then you have to wait based on the thing. Sometimes it's 24 hour turnaround, uh, 48 hour turnaround. They have a library of videos you can pick from. So, you know, one of the things you need to know for your business is that you probably need to hire a videographer. That is the reality. You need to hire a videographer, and what I mean by that is you're going to need to have someone on staff to produce video for your company. That is just really what's coming up. Like I think that eventually all of us will have someone that will have videography as a talent in their back pocket. Uh, now, video editing is actually a separate skill. Now, the thing that you need to know about video editing is it's extremely time consuming. A three to four minute video that you shoot will take you three to five hours to produce. Like three to four minute shoot will take you three to five hours to edit. There's a lot of cut, there's a lot of things that you need to do. It's extremely time consuming. So again, you know, having someone on staff that does that, because I'm going to go on the assumption 
that all of you, all of you already have a, a full-time job to do in your business, whether you're a chiropractor or dentist or lawyer. You're already working 12 hours a day. You don't need to add an additional four hours editing videos, right? So um, extremely time consuming, just remember that. The couple of softwares that you should be using or that I recommend, uh, the first one if you have a Mac is Final Cut Pro. Uh, it is the basically the paid version of iMovie. It does everything that you need and then some. It's very, you know, very, uh, I'm not gonna say complicated. It's a great, it's a great system to get your feet wet with it. Uh, and if you're Windows, uh, Camtasia is a great tool. Uh, in my office, we have both platforms. We have Mac and Windows, and we are using Final Cut Pro and Camtasia. Camtasia is great for webcast. Final Cut Pro is great for editing videos uh, and also doing some webcasts. So you know, these two platforms are great. Now, so let's recap. Facebook is saying that by 2020, everything on their platform will be mobile and all videos. I have good news. You are a media company. Yeah, that is actually the good news. You need some equipment like this, which is gonna cost you 500 bucks, and equipment like that, that is gonna cost you $5,000. Sales Lion is a great channel to learn everything you need to learn. You need four videos for your company, and then you should add an additional six after that. Interview is a great format to get videos uh, going. Remember to smile, not like this, and think of a puppy to help you smile. Don't sweat it, the first 20 minutes is the most difficult one. Slow down, don't try to be funny, don't try to be too serious, don't try to be too smart. Don't sell, absolutely no selling, just be yourself. There are great places where you can do video shoots, by the river, by the bridge, in downtown. Remember to have some B-rolls with your videos. Uh, have a great intro or outro. There are four major places where you can host all your videos. Remember that editing takes a long time. You probably should hire a videographer on staff. And Cisco is telling us by 2019, 80% of all traffic will be videos. So get started now because you don't want to be left behind. Thank you.